Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Tony Barhom, NPC Men's Physique Athlete. I am two days out from the NPC universe. This is one of my best friends, Mike Santoro. We've known each other for a long time. We've been training together for a long time and he's here to help me peak. And what we're doing is we're just gonna be doing a pump-based workout. This is actually my last workout for my show this upcoming Saturday. Uh, very excited, obviously, to hit the stage and I'm very excited to kind of just show you what the workout's gonna be. Now let's get to it. All right, so first exercise is two sets of dumbbell press. About 10 to 12 reps. You like the croc swag, you know? That's a, a shout out to Jared Feather, my coach, and the crew at Renaissance Periodization because they love their crocs as well. So real quick, today is Thursday, two days before the show, right? And so this is part of the peak week protocol. So I haven't fully started eating carbs just yet because I just woke up, but what I have done is consumed about 50 grams of carbs through Gatorade. And so this is the slow ramp up of that carbohydrate process. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to shuttle as much blood into the muscle tissue as possible right now with the carbohydrates that are running through my system. Um, obviously, I've been depleted for the past two and a half weeks or so, so I'm definitely feeling the carbohydrates. I'm definitely feeling the blood flow already and very quickly, but the purpose of this workout, again, and I'm trying to really reiterate this for all those you know younger athletes who are looking to compete and such, it's not about going crazy the last couple weeks out. Protect your injuries. Protect yourself from injury. You know, do things the right way, be smart, because we wanna look aesthetic on stage. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It doesn't matter if you're benching 500 pounds in the gym and then you step on stage and you don't even look good, right? And you're, you're all torn up, you have a torn bicep, whatever it is. You wanna look aesthetic and that's what it's all about, right? So just make sure and be mindful if you are prepping for a show and you are in a peak week to just kind of like remember these things, you know? I think a lot of times, you know, you don't really get to see, you know, athletes a couple days out from a show, so it's nice to kind of get some data on that so you can kind of like come up with your own plan when you're going to be doing a show. I'm really stretch. There you go. Nice big breath. Blow it all out. Squeeze. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so next exercise is gonna be two sets of 10 to 12 uh, inclined dumbbell press. So what we got next is two sets of 12 of tricep pushdowns.
Feels good, man. Feel all that Gatorade. It felt good, right? Yeah, the Gatorade's going like straight to the muscle, you know? That's what it is. There you go, Mike. Squeeze. Nice big breath in. There you go. There you go, Mike. All right, so real quick, just a little backstory because you're probably like, who's Mike Santoro? You know, who's Tony's buddy Mike? So we went to college together. We met when I was like 19. So was, we've known each other for almost 12 years now, right? We both went to Stockton College, now Stockton University. And uh, essentially we were both bio majors, chem minors, uh, both nerds, right? And um, we both loved bodybuilding and training and working out. And actually he was the first guy who kind of like recognized, you know, my potential in the sport. And I used to just, you know, work out for what I, like I wouldn't even train hard. I would just kind of go in there and just do like pump workouts. And um, I was literally eating like what, bowls of cereal a day, like pizza. Like I ate like, like this, so this makes no sense. Cause I used to like build muscle off of like fruity pebbles. Like I didn't even eat protein. Like if you remember this, like he was like, what the, why are your shoulders so big? Like, and you're like a kid, like, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. I just eat cereal all day, man. But like, he, this is the guy that like first kind of like recognized me. We've been training and on and off for, for years since. And, you know, I just kind of wanted to, to bring him on and kind of like int introduce him to you guys, you know? So it was like basically, so basically around like 28, like I was about to turn 29. And, um, you know, it had been the point where I was like in my career, like in sales and everything like that. And I just remember we had a conversation. It was like, dude, when are you gonna do it? Cause you know, we'd always like talked about me getting into like bodybuilding and me like getting after it, right? And, uh, you know, he was part of, part of the reason what pushed me into kind of doing it. You know, I'm 31 now. I've been only competing for about two years. But if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be doing it, you know? And like a big part of it was um, just like be, believing in myself and just doing the right things. Because again, eating bowls of pretty pebbles isn't gonna help you put on muscle at 28, 29 years old. So obviously I went in all the details. And, you know, I think I upped the protein a little bit. I mean, it's some chicken breast. So everything's been all spot on since. You know, I hired a good coach and we've been, you know, the plan's been set since. But I owe a lot of that to Mike, you know, honestly. Yeah, of course, well, I appreciate that, man. Rock on. No, seriously, honestly, it really is like big part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Next exercise is two sets of 12 of barbell curls. just a pump <laughs> it's not heavy but it's just like I just really felt it like just rushing in there <laughs> it's crazy Woo. so you're not coming out here is that no so like coming all the way down yeah I actually explained it in one of my videos but it's just like the sort of full range of motion is like up there yeah you know what I'm saying you're not stopping it here <laughs> I just like spasm you're not stopping it here yeah yeah just gonna bring it up here coming out yep so it's like a full range. Yep. Okay. It's wide grip or regular? Regular, standard. There you go, man. And at the top, really, really like squeeze and hone in. Gotcha. Yep. Nice big breath. Squeeze it all out. There you go. Here you go, Mike. Nice big breath. 
There you go. Three sets of 12 on the leg press. I'm about to go light as hell because I'm a weak little lad. Well, I'm not weak, what am I talking? I drank 80 ounces of Gatorade, I'm feeling good. I'm just try trying to sustain an injury. All right, so this is my first time ever doing a leg press with Crocs on. And so look, hear me out. Like, dude, a lot of people do work out with uh, Crocs on, but this is my first time doing it. And just like staring at my feet wearing Crocs right now is the, <laughs> the most craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I'm, I'm, I'm down for it, you know? Look at these little Lagaloonies. See, us men's physique athletes, we do some legs. They're not as big. We do a little bit of legs, you know, here and there. Notice how I really try to keep my back to the pad as much as possible, too because I, I have had lower back injuries in the past. Two bulging discs. Cool. Mm. Alright, Mike. Can I have to keep your back to the pad as much no, as possible? No, I know. That's what the problem was. Definitely for me, too. Oh, they know I'm only doing two plates. I don't care. How you feeling? Y'all you know, know I'm only doing two plates. I'm, a, I'm feeling great. I know, you're Something. actually smiling this time. Yeah, yo, listen, I'm gonna be honest. So, he filmed me doing a mile rep set on like the leg press. It was like a leg day. I just put the video up the other day. And it's like, dude, I literally look like I'm not a human, bro. I know. Like, I'm just like half asleep. And then, dude, there was one point in the video, though. I, I did see the video, and it was like out of nowhere. I got like super excited about pizza. I was like, Fuck, I can't wait to eat Ralph's yeah. pizza. It was like so wild because it was like this, like, I was just like, but yo, pizza. And I got like all excited about it. It was a good just time. thinking about that pizza afterwards. Yeah, Ralph's. pretty much. Pretty much. What's the next workout? Um, so we have hamstring curls. But uh, as soon as I, you know, Alright, so we got seated leg curls next. Um, I just wanted to take the time out real quick to introduce who's been behind the camera for the past couple of videos. This right here is my boy Brandon, Raw Fit Creative. What's up everybody? He's the man. He's the one who's been taking all my pictures. All my videos, doing all my editing. Don't mind the hair, I was trying to match Tony today. Yeah, no, he's, but he's looking good. He's looking, 
you looking good. But we're gonna start doing more YouTube content, more tutorials, more vlogs, more food challenges. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming from us. 100%. Uh, me also including, you know, he's gonna be on my vlogs, I'm gonna be on his. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff, trying to kind of open up into the industry and start building more of a community with our subscribers. So hope you guys stay tuned. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but let's get him right back into this workout. Definitely. Thanks, Brandon. Awesome. So we got two sets of 12 for the leg curls. And I mentioned this too in like one of my previous videos. Like when you're doing like these style of workouts, it's always good to kind of like refocus on those like motor movements, you know? Yeah. Like do things the right way, because we're not going super heavy. There you go, squeeze. So we got lap pull downs next. Let's head on over. All right, so we got three sets of 12 lap pull downs. Come over here so you can see from behind. Look at that scapular retraction. So that's what we're looking for. When you're doing this exercise, you really want to hone in on that. Get a deeper stretch, you can squeeze a little bit harder, and you're really hitting the exact area that you truly want when you're doing this exercise. Perfect form, Mike. And lastly, for this peak week protocol exercise, we're going to be doing the lateral raises, three sets of 10. There you go, Mike. Focus. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna do some posing real quick, just so you can see how I'm looking two days out before I'm fully dry and crispy. Just so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at in the peaking process.
Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video if you like the video. Please subscribe. Comment down below for the next video that you'd like to see. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.